Cameron Smith was a productive and durable four-year starter at USC who figures to come to Minnesota and push right away for playing time not only on special teams, he's also going to learn Mike Zimmer's defense in an already talent-filled linebacker room. Smith trained and contributed at both outside and inside linebacker at USC, which only increases his odds of making an early impact. Let's take a look at his tape to identify some of the traits that make him stand out. Cameron Smith, University of Southern California linebacker from Roseville, California. Few highlights, some of the things that he does real well, and the you know the linebacker positions changed over time, and it's all about being athletic. It's all about being able to make plays in space, to read, execute, and you know, and do it very, very quickly. And I think this is one thing that he does very, very well. You can see. Team's trading tight end. They have to reset. He's fine. He's getting everybody lined up. And as a coach, you always like to see that out of a linebacker, a guy who knows what's going on around him and can help point guys out and put them in the right direction. But his, be able to, his ability to key and diagnose is the big thing, right? At the snap of the ball, he's shuffling his feet, staying square. But what you notice is right away, as soon as he knows it's run and sees the handoff, he's taking off and getting downfield, right? That's what you want to see, that little burst downfield but then he notices that this gap is being taken up by his teammate, so he redirects off of that block and finds and meets the running back before the offensive lineman that's pulling around gets a chance to redirect and get him. So this is, what, this is what's so powerful and what's so good about a linebacker who wants to get north and south. He's going to read, key, diagnose, and then get downhill. And oh, by the way, once he gets to the spot, He's able to make the tackle, has that speed and explosiveness to get down there. That's how linebackers can make up for a lack of speed or if they're not, you know, if they're not 4'4 four, four or 4'5 four, guys, by being able to diagnose key, good footwork, get downhill, can make up for a lot of that. So here, against my alma mater, Notre Dame, team that loves to run the football, a linebacker should never get blocked by a wide receiver. In this case, it's Miles Boykin coming down, trying to seal him off as they get outside. They're pulling guys, they're trying to get all these bodies out on the outside. He sees that block coming, puts his shoulder in, and then gets off of it and is able to get downhill and still get in on the tackle. But you'll notice, staying square to the line of scrimmage, even as he takes on this block, he is staying square. He's able then to break down and he's square when he hits the running back. So the running back, after contact, isn't falling this way. He's going either sideways or backwards. So those are the little nuances and things that you want to look for out of a linebacker. A good, solid tackling. He doesn't miss a lot of tackles, and that's another thing that you like to see. Linebackers in this day and age, we like to blitz. Okay, We like to send guys like Anthony Barr, Eric Kendricks. The ideal situation, and if you're, if you're game planning well, is when you send a linebacker through a gap, you want him to be blocked by the running back. Now, I know, and we've seen, whenever it's Anthony Barr blitzing through the line of scrimmage and he's one-on-one -on -one with the running back, he's going to win that battle nine out of ten times. So in this case, Cameron's blitzing through, the, blitzing through that gap. He sees the block coming from the running back, and he's athletic enough. Again, notice his body position. He's always staying square with the line of scrimmage. Pads are low, able to get the hands up and you know, deflect the pass. But those are the kinds of mismatches. If you can get him one-on-one -on -one with the running back, if he can win that, then you're in good shape. In this case, this gives you an opportunity to see what he does. Man coverage, covering the running back underneath, but he, has, he knows it's passed right away because you can see him hugging up his coverage. But then he knows that the running back is not releasing. He immediately turns his attention to the quarterback. So you can see his vision. Eyes are on the coverage here. Steps up, nothing doing. Gets, you know, gets his eyes on the ball. And, you know, if that was a spear, yes, he would be dead, but he does come down with the football. You know, linebackers are just tight ends that can't catch. That's why you play on this side of the football. But Cameron Smith combines a lot of really good fundamental things, very smart, diagnoses very well. Once he learns this system and gets an opportunity to play and see this game you know, really in full speed, I think he's going to be a positive contributor right away on special teams, but also eventually on defense.